Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're indulging in a bit of nostalgia as we take a stroll down memory lane to catch up with some of your favorite sitcom stars from the 90s. Let's see how the years have treated these cherished actors and what they're up to now. Buckle up and let's dive in. Ted Danson. Ted Danson, born on December 29, 1947, in San Diego, California, is an esteemed American actor and producer. He shot to fame in the 80s as the charming bartender Sam Malone on Cheers, which won him critical acclaim and multiple Emmy Awards. Not just a TV star, Danson's versatile career has covered film, television, and stage, with standout performances in Becker, The Good Place, and the movie Three Men and a Baby. Over the years, he's collected an impressive array of accolades, from Golden Globes to Screen Actors Guild Awards, and has become well known for his environmental activism and philanthropy. Now at 75, Ted Danson's success in show business, marked by his undeniable talent, sharp wit, and ability to tackle a wide range of roles, cements his status as a treasured and revered figure in Hollywood. Betsy Randall. Betsy Randall, born on June 24, 1950 in Chicago, Illinois, is a cherished American actress renowned for her role as Amy Matthews on the hit series Boy Meets World, which began in 1993. Her endearing portrayal of the warm and sometimes quirky matriarch made her a household name during the show's successful tenure. Beyond the pinnacle of Boy Meets World, Betsy Randall has graced various TV shows and films with her talent and engaging on-screen presence. Now at 73, Betsy Randall may have taken a step back from the spotlight, but her contributions to the beloved Boy Meets World and her ongoing work in entertainment keep her affectionately in the hearts of fans. Alfonso Ribeiro Alfonso Ribeiro was born on September 21, 1971, in New York City, and is a talented American actor, dancer, and TV host. He became a household name in the 90s as Carlton Banks on The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, where he won hearts with his comedic chops and the unforgettable Carlton dance. Ribeiro has worn many hats in the entertainment world, from acting to hosting, to showing off his dance moves, which he did spectacularly in 2014 by winning Dancing with the Stars. Now at 52, Alfonso Ribeiro's lasting appeal, especially as the lovable Carlton, along with his varied endeavors in the entertainment sphere, have made him an esteemed and enduring personality in the industry. Richard Karn. Richard Karn, born on February 17, 1956 in Seattle, Washington, is an American actor and TV host recognized widely for playing Al Borland, the affable and flannel-wearing sidekick to Tim Allen's character on the hit sitcom Home Improvement in the 90s. Karn's impeccable comedic timing and rapport with his co-stars played a significant role in the show's success. Beyond his memorable stint on Home Improvement, Richard Karn has enjoyed a varied career, including his role as host on the game show Family Feud, as well as appearances in a variety of television shows and movies. As of 2023, Richard Karn is 67 years old. His continued popularity, particularly stemming from his iconic role on Home Improvement, along with his various contributions to show business, cements his place as a beloved and familiar figure on television. Melissa Joan Hart Melissa Joan Hart, born on April 18, 1976 in Smithtown, New York, is an American actress, producer, and director who became a teen icon through her roles in quintessential 90s TV series such as Clarissa Explains It All and Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Her natural charm and acting prowess captured the hearts of audiences, catapulting her to stardom. Throughout her career, Hart has displayed her versatility by engaging in television, film, and theater, not to mention stepping behind the camera to produce and direct. Now, at 47, Melissa Joan Hart's impressive list of accolades 
includes multiple Teen Choice Awards and Kids Choice Awards. Her sustained presence in show business and contributions across various media platforms have cemented her reputation as an endearing and enduring figure to fans across the globe. Candace Cameron Buer. Candace Cameron Buer, born on April 6, 1976, in Panorama City, California, is an American actress, producer, and New York Times best-selling author, renowned for her portrayal of DJ Tanner on the beloved sitcom Full House and its sequel series, Fuller House. Her wholesome persona and engaging performances have made her a darling of the entertainment world. Candace has continued her trajectory with an array of television projects and has made her mark as an author, adding bestseller status to her repertoire. Additionally, she's known for her role as a co-host on The View. At 47 years old, Candace Cameron Buer has earned multiple Kids' Choice Awards and is praised for her dedication to family-friendly programming. Her enduring career and ventures in various forms of media have established her as a cherished and respected figure in entertainment. Ray Romano. Ray Romano, born on December 21, 1957, in Queens, New York, is a celebrated American actor, comedian, and writer. He rose to fame as the star of the hit sitcom Everybody Loves Raymond, which aired from 1996 to 2005. Romano's comedic genius and everyman persona as Ray Baroni brought him critical acclaim and a warm place in the hearts of viewers. His career extends well beyond television. Romano has enjoyed success in stand-up comedy, voice acting in films such as the Ice Age series, and various roles in cinema. At 65 years old, Romano's list of achievements includes multiple Emmy Awards for his work on Everybody Loves Raymond. His continued success in entertainment, spanning various mediums, underscores his adaptability and enduring appeal as a performer and entertainer. Mayim Bialik Mayim Bialik, who was born on December 12, 1975, in San Diego, California, is a multi-talented American figure known for her work as an actress, neuroscientist, and author. She initially captured the public's attention as the eponymous character on the 1990s television series, Blossom. Bialik's exceptional intellect and acting skills distinguished her early on in the entertainment world. Following her time on Blossom, she pursued academic endeavors, earning a PhD in neuroscience, testament to her scholarly acumen. Bialik made a notable return to television with her portrayal of Amy Farah Fowler on the acclaimed series The Big Bang Theory. Now at 47, her accolades include a Critics' Choice Television Award. Beyond the screen, her dedication to science and education, alongside a dynamic career, has garnered her respect in both the entertainment industry and the academic community. Fran Drescher, born on September 30, 1957, in Flushing, New York, is an American actress, comedian, and producer, renowned for her starring role as Fran Fine in the hit sitcom The Nanny, which aired from 1993 to 1999. Drescher's unmistakable voice, sharp comedic timing, and exuberant on-screen presence solidified her status as a television star. Beyond her work on The Nanny, Drescher has enjoyed a prolific career with various roles in film, television, and on Broadway. As a cancer survivor, she has become an outspoken healthcare advocate and a voice for cancer awareness. At 66 years old, Fran Drescher's legacy in the entertainment industry is highlighted by Emmy nominations for The Nanny and her dedicated activism in health advocacy. Her multifaceted contributions have earned her a respected place in Hollywood. Maura Tierney. Maura Tierney, born on February 3, 1965 in Boston, Massachusetts, is an esteemed American actress who achieved fame for her performances in TV series such as News Radio and ER. Tierney's depth of talent and versatility have also shown in films, with memorable roles in Liar Liar and Primary Colors. Her sustained success continued with critically acclaimed dramas like The Affair. Now 58 years old in 2023, 
Maura Tierney's career is distinguished by a Primetime Emmy Award for her work on ER and several other nominations for prestigious honors. Her ongoing contributions to television and film, as well as her nuanced portrayals of complex characters, have affirmed her reputation as a talented and respected actress in the entertainment industry. Mark Paul Gosselar Mark Paul Gosselar, born on March 1, 1974, in Panorama City, California, is an American actor best known for his iconic role as Zach Morris in the hit teen sitcom Saved by the Bell. His charm and portrayal of the endearing high school student were central to the show's success in the early 1990s. Gosselar has continued to demonstrate his acting range with roles in series such as NYPD Blue, Franklin and Bash, and Pitch. His dedication to his craft and his seamless movement across different genres have defined his lasting career. At 49 years old, Gosselar has garnered several Teen Choice Awards, and his ongoing contributions to the industry underline his status as a versatile and respected actor. Jackie Harry Jackie Harry, born on August 14, 1956, in Winston-Salem, North Carolina, is an acclaimed American actress and television personality. She rose to prominence with her role as Sandra Clark on the beloved sitcom, 227 inches in the 1980s. Her vibrant performances and impeccable comedic timing quickly made her a standout talent in the industry. Harry has since expanded her portfolio with roles in other hit sitcoms, such as Sister, Sister, and in films like The Royal Family. Now at 67 years old, her contributions to the world of television have not only earned her critical praise, but also a loyal fan base. Among her many accolades is a Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Supporting Actress in a Comedy Series for her work on 227, underscoring her influence and talent in the entertainment sphere. Carl Anthony Payne II, Carl Anthony Payne II, born on May 24, 1969, in Clinton, South Carolina, is an American actor celebrated for his portrayal of Cole Brown on the popular sitcom Martin in the 1990s. Payne's comedic flair and memorable character work played a significant role in the show's widespread appeal, establishing him as a familiar face in the realm of television comedy. Following Martin, Payne has continued to showcase his talents in a variety of television series and films, navigating comedy and drama with ease. At 54 years old, while he may not have the same high profile as some contemporaries, his contributions to entertainment have left an indelible mark. Payne's legacy, particularly his role on Martin, continues to be a cherished part of African-American television history, and his ongoing work in acting highlights his enduring presence in the industry. Mark Curry Mark Curry, born on June 1, 1961 in Oakland, California, is an American actor and comedian best known for his role as Mark Cooper in the early 1990s sitcom Hanging with Mr. Cooper. Curry's engaging personality and comedic talent were key to the show's success, cementing his status as a well-known figure in television. Beyond his work on Hanging with Mr. Cooper, Curry has enjoyed a varied career spanning stand-up comedy, hosting gigs and roles in various films and TV shows. His knack for humor and connecting with audiences has remained the hallmark of his career. Now 62 years old, Curry's list of achievements includes an NAACP Image Award nomination. His enduring work in sitcoms and comedy has made him a respected and influential figure in American television. Brett Butler. Brett Butler, born on January 30, 1958, in Montgomery, Alabama, is an American actress and comedian renowned for her role in the 1990s sitcom Grace Under Fire. Her performance as a single mother showcased her comedic abilities and resonated with audiences, earning her critical acclaim. Butler's authentic humor and relatability made Grace Under Fire a significant milestone in her career. 
Despite facing personal challenges that affected her career trajectory, Butler made a triumphant return to the spotlight with her stand-up comedy. At 65 years old, her accolades include a People's Choice Award for Favorite Female Performer in a new TV series for her work in Grace Under Fire. Butler's perseverance and her enduring contributions to comedy have established her as a notable presence in the entertainment industry. Lisa Kudrow Lisa Kudrow, born on July 30, 1963, in Encino, California, is a versatile American actress, comedian, and producer. She achieved international recognition for her portrayal of the charmingly eccentric Phoebe Buffy on the iconic sitcom Friends. Kudrow's unique and lovable performance brought her critical acclaim, along with an Emmy Award. Beyond Friends, she has demonstrated her range with roles in Rami and Michelle's high school reunion, The Comeback, and Bojack Horseman. As a producer, she has earned praise for her work on the series, Who Do You Think You Are? Now 60 years old, Kudrow's accomplishments include a Primetime Emmy Award and a Screen Actors Guild Award. Her lasting influence on comedy and her sustained success in the industry affirm her status as a distinguished and enduring talent in Hollywood. Julia Louis-Dreyfus Julia Louis-Dreyfus, born on January 13, 1961 in New York City, is an esteemed American actress and comedian celebrated for her standout roles in television. She is best known for playing Elaine Benz on Seinfeld and Selena Meyer on Veep. Louis-Dreyfus's comedic brilliance and dynamic acting skills have garnered her an impressive collection of accolades, including numerous Emmy Awards, Golden Globes, and Screen Actors Guild Awards. Following her success on Seinfeld, she continued to captivate audiences in The New Adventures of Old Christine and Veep, further cementing her place as one of the most honored actresses in TV history. At age 62, Julia Louis-Dreyfus continues to be recognized for her extraordinary talents, her sharp wit, and her commitment to social activism making her a cherished and influential figure in Hollywood. Thank you for joining us on this nostalgic journey. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell for more trips down memory lane. Until next time, stay tuned for more iconic retrospectives.